<laughs> what we, how long have we lived together? After the first April DTS. No. During, before? during the first, could during you? the first April DTS. <laughs> so wait, that would have been, that was I got after? here 2015? Uh-huh. Yes. 16. 16. So. 2019. So three and a half years. Okay. She's put up with me for three and a half years. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Coffee with Erica. And my name is Kara, and today we're gonna to be talking about living in community. Yeah, and we're super excited because you know a lot of you guys are coming here and you're like, what does it look like to live in community? I've never done this before. You may have grown up in a house where it's just you living and you have your own room, your own bathroom, your own space. And you come into a place like this and you're just like, what does this even look like? Yeah, and, and like Erica said, you may, you may have experience living at home with your family, but it's different when you come into a context with people from all over the world. Um, we've been living together for about three and a half years now, and we know what it's like to have to kind of adjust your schedule, get used to different people, and, and what their culture looks like. Maybe they go to bed really early or go to bed later, wake up early in the morning, maybe they leave their shoes by the door, and for you, why would you do that? There's a lot of things that when you come into a mixture of people from all over the world, that you kind of have to take into consideration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's fun to get to know people like within their context because obviously like if you just know them in the workplace or in the classroom, you only know a certain part of them. But once you get to really know them and see how they live, you really get to know the person even deeper. And I think that's something that we've learned in this time. Like, I don't know how many times we've just been sitting on the kitchen floor for like five hours just talking and processing about life. And it's just like, I wouldn't have been able to experience that if we weren't living within community. Yeah, and as well, you just get to know people and you know them on a deeper level of like, oh, you're an introvert, I know you're gonna need your time by yourself. I just know when to say, Erica, it's okay, go to your room, bye. And I don't bother bothering her for a few hours because I know she just needs to process with the Lord. And then at times I'm like, hey, do you wanna go get tacos? You know, and she's like, yes, let's go. So you just kind of get to know people on a deeper level, know um, how they live their life, like what do they need as a person, like do they need time by themselves, do they need time with people, um, yeah, and how to just honor them in, in how God's created them to be as well. Yeah, and I think that's basically it, just looking, okay, I'm living here, like I have my own needs and I know other people have their own needs, and it's like what can we do to live together to really love one another. Yeah, and another fun part of living in community is like, and especially here within YWAM, is you just come and come into contact with so many different cultures and countries. Like, you're gonna be living with people from Latin America, from Europe, from the Western part of the world, from Asia, just from all over the world, and it's crazy because it's such a rich context of just people from different places, different cultures, different customs, and it's really cool just to get to know people on a deeper level that are very different from you. Yeah, and not just learning the culture, but also their language. Um, obviously here we're in Mexico, so Spanish is, is the, the language that's spoken here. But as well, like you're learning Spanish maybe from different people around the world. But maybe Colombians say things differently than someone from Puerto Rico or someone from Venezuela. And so it's interesting if you come into a context that you maybe never spoken Spanish before. It's a good opportunity to learn, but also most of the people that are coming as well from other Latin nations are going to want to learn English. Um, and so. As well for Europeans, English might not be their first language, it might be their second, third, or fourth language. So you're coming into a context where you're learning from one another, you're growing from the things that maybe they're really good at, that, you know, at Spanish, and then you're learning different things from them, teaching them English. Um, so it's really cool to be able to learn from one another and appreciate the differences in the culture. Something so important about living in community is communication, the way you communicate things. A lot of things you can communicate without even verbally saying it. You know, it's through your actions or through your attitudes or, or whatever it is. And I think that's something we've learned a lot about living together for so many years. It's like you can just read the other person's mind, but there's moments where you can't and you actually have to say them out loud and be like, hey, Kara, like, you know, I, I you did this yesterday, but I really felt like I felt hurt when you did this. And, uh, and she's going to be like, what? I had no idea. And it's just learning to open up that space of communication where we can really come together and be on the same page of what's going on. And also another fun part of living in community is just the friendships that you build. Like it's crazy, you're only here for five months or three months with this group of people, but the depth that you can go with them is just crazy. Like I remember there's so many times where living with Kara, where we just have conversations of like literally five or six hours and we're just sitting there drinking coffee and then like an hour later you're like, what just happened? But it's so cool just the way that you, you can really open yourself up and say like, hey, this is me. 
this is what I'm going through, this is what I'm struggling with, this is what I'm excited about, and really learning to, to celebrate and live life together is incredible. And you really do build a family here, which I love because, you know, we're leaving our families at home, we're leaving our friends at home, and then you come here and you're just like, what is it gonna look like? Am I gonna be included? How am I gonna feel? And it's like, as long as you go in and you really wanna embrace everybody, you just, you really feel that family atmosphere, and it's just, it's a really cool experience. And I think that really summarizes it all. Like, that's what community is. Living in community is, is great, and it's challenging, and you're being stretched, but also it's a time just to go deep, to go deep with the Lord and go deep with the people around you, and it's just like that, that perfect, like, just place where God's like, yeah, this is where I have you. This is what I want to do with you in this time. So, yeah, community living is, is awesome, and it's fun, and you guys are going to love it. So that's it for today, and you guys can check out our next video. Thanks, guys. Ciao.